What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and use NVIDIA broadcast software. This is gonna allow you to remove the background from your webcam. It's going to clear up your audio and remove background noise from your audio. And it's even gonna make your eyes look at the camera even if you're not actually looking at the camera. It's wild technology and it's a blast to play with. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and click on the download now button and open up the application. You may need to hit yes to allow the installer to continue. Click on agree and continue and leave express as recommended and hit next. There are people drilling downstairs apparently because that's great for recording. <laughs> Now, I'm not showing my webcam right now because I don't want the recording to conflict with the actual webcam um, editing and adjustments within the NVIDIA broadcast software. So I want to be able to show you all that live. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're doing it live. <laughs> all right, so NVIDIA broadcast software is installed. Let's go ahead and close the installer. And we can see that it's now automatically opening up. If it doesn't automatically open up, you can open up the desktop shortcut or the shortcut that's placed in your start menu. Great, so now we have noise removal and room echo removal, which we can turn on or off for the microphone. And you can easily just go in here and choose which microphone to use. So I could use the Microsoft Logitech Pro X, which is what I'm using right now. Uh, moving on past that, we also have our speaker settings and we can add noise removal to our speakers. So even content that we're watching, we can actually have this noise removal filter work on that as well. Finally, we can go to our camera and this is what um, most of you probably came here for. Let's go ahead and choose the camera here. Now, you may want to record at a lower resolution. That way, the processing effects will have enough time to go in and you won't have any extra latency. But you can see already that you're kind of getting some side eye now, even though I'm not looking at the camera, because eye contact is on. But we can also use all these other effects as well. So we can choose background blur. We can choose background replacement. We can select which image or video goes behind us. We can go to background removal. And all this works pretty well. It's like not super fast, but it's clean. Then we can go to auto frame, which when I move my head, it will move the camera with me. We can go to video noise removal, which will clean up and kind of blur out a little bit the image. You can also choose between strong or weak to choose how clear of an image you want. That actually looks really, really nice. Interesting. So then we can go to eye contact, which we just saw where even if I'm not looking at the camera, it'll kind of look at the camera. And then we have vignette and we can have regular or face tracking. So regular is just the corners of the screen. Face tracking will follow you wherever you go and you can adjust the strength of this as well. So it'll follow me that way. Or if I want it just slightly, it'll just kind of darken when I move out of the way. So those are the effects we can use. And um, it's a pretty cool program. So the, the way that you use this after you've set everything up is you open up OBS or some sort of application that you're going to use to stream. And for your webcam, you're going to switch from your main webcam to your camera NVIDIA broadcast. And that's going to let you use the output. As you can see, it has the Vignette effect in OBS. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Peace. Mike the tech, the architect.